Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we'll talk about response in Laravel so let's start as we can see here I have created this controller and we have our index method and here is the root in our web file so the first thing here as you can see if we want to return a blank page we can make it easy here using a response helper right we can say no content something like this because here's the best practice this is 204 represent this no content so if we save it here and return again we have the same result in a, a good way so if we hit inspect here back to our network again refresh the page as we can see status is a 204 and if we dive into it preview nothing to be displayed right it's not an error it's a best practice because we set our status to 204 the other thing here if we open this response helper method right it will open our helpers and it starts with factory then make the uh, the response so if we open our response factory class it, it contains bunch of methods as we can see here and we will try to cover all of them in this video so let's continue the next step here including headers in the response so if we take it here right and then we will say header we can say for example a user it will be like this user a name as a method here we will say Ahmed right if we add another header again here it can be chainable we can say here for example a country here a Turkey and if we hit back again I faced this error because we must fill our response with content so we can say here for example hello world then hit refresh back to our network again from headers here under a response header as we can see we have here our key country Turkey and also we have our user dash name which is Ahmed and instead of that we can also make something like this instead of duplication I will say it here remove this with headers and we can include array instead instead of that so it can be multi-dimensional array if we comment this line here and we refresh the page I have a syntax error semicolon refresh again and back to our response as we can see oh sorry we must remove this array here so it must be directly key and value like uh, this so let's remove it here let's remove it here also one dimensional array refresh again back and as we can see the same result country and user name here with the same result of this code right the second thing here using uh, or attaching a uh, cookies so if we back here and we can say we can say cookie method here and we can include, un include cookie so how can we create it using a cookie here and the cookie helper right as we can see all of parameters a uh, name Ahmed and it will expire after any minute if you keep it null it will never expire until you expire it manually so I will keep it like this and now if I refresh it works again here and our tests back to our application tab right and as you can see name and if you notice that the value is encrypted because Laravel encrypts the values of cookies automatically for security if you don't want to encrypt it you can go to here a uh, cookie encrypt or encrypt cookies middleware under middlewares here HTTP middlewares encrypt cookies and you can accept here the name so the name this key here name will not be encrypted so if I refresh the page now you notice it's not encrypted and it's a little bit danger for security right so if I remove it again here and refresh back again it's encrypted to get this value we can use also a cookie helper cookie here right we can say get and name and I will die and dump this value here to show you the id now refresh again and it's automatically decrypted so here is the value and if we call it it returns the real value right now if you want to expire this cookie 
or removing it we can use here our uh, method which is called expire so we can say here instead of get we can say expire and it will be removed so I will comment this line here again and now if I refresh the name cookie has been expired and removed from the browser now let's remove it the second thing here is redirects in responses so we have multiple redirects so for example I have created another uh, route here inside my uh, controller called learn controller right and it returns the ID of past uh, parameters so and I, in the, I, I identified it here in my app and I will say ID to pass the ID and here is our internet controller so the first thing here I will give it a name right of learn and back here to my users controller and the first thing we can redirect to named root redirect directly here redirect and root here we can say our learn and the parameter we can see ID number one and now refresh index doesn't exist so back here and I will check it oh it's not index it's show so I will fix it here it must be show now refresh again and it redirects me to learn slash ID right if I try to change ID to two for example here and back again to my app and it returns to uh, with parameter ID number two we can also instead of using named root we can use action controller so instead of that we can say here action right and the action name is the first parameter of this array is the controller name so we can say learn controller right class and show method then the parameters again id id number three for example or four and then let's test again remove this link back and it again the same result if you notice here it, this part is the same like we define it in inside our web here this are the same right also you can redirect away to external uh, URLs so we can say here again away right and we can pass your http google.com for example now let's send here and it redirects me to google coming from my application right and as you can see here it also takes a parameter directly without needing to uh, away here so we can say ticket again right remove away and it is again here learn 10 test and the same result also we can redirect with flash sessions using with method here so we can say for example uh, redirect to maybe uh, the same action right learn here's this one and we can say with method for example status active so refresh learn test here right and as we can see in our learn we can see here dd session status again because it flashed it's an instant but if i refresh the next thing here is some other types of response so we can say here response right view which most of us using view directly and we can view with a blade right now refresh and it returns the our uh, view here right we can also even include some uh, headers to the uh, view right and as we can see here it can be passed also as a fourth parameter here this parameter headers but most of us you know return view directly welcome right same result and again same uh, parameters but not same parameters like sorry I think it takes header maybe yes it also accepts header right let's try it name uh, test no it doesn't but if you want to pass headers to view you c you must use it uh, like this for a response right 
something like this and we can say here using headers here so we can say headers headers right array name test refresh and if I refresh here refresh again to our network and here learn test as we can see name is test right so if you want to pass headers to your view we must use it like this right also we have json response json here and we can pass data also like view but this time in json way so we can see here name ahmed refresh as we can see it returns json in this uh, case and also we can set the header for example 200 what if i change it to 104 right still works but bad practice so it must be 200 right set the parameter headers as you know and some other options the next is file or showing files so here in my storage folder right i have uh, this image under app public code if here for storage and if you want to display this file only as most of sites do we can say here file right and we can say storage bus app public and file name is code.jpg so here refresh and now it displays file if you want to make this file downloadable or enforce the browser to download the file we can say here download download now refresh and now it will be downloaded to my device and also we have something called stream download which is a uh, convert a text to be downloadable file so if i use it here stream download download if you notice here it takes callback which is function and it is a file name while downloading so i will say here it will function right and we can say echo here hello world and second parameter is name uh, learn the text without anything here i will put semicolon here and now i will refresh as you can see here learn and if i open this file here is the content that i wrote here right one last thing here is response class is a macroball what does it mean you can create your own custom method so in any app server provider here i have created this macro called name right and it converts a uh, user names for past array here it makes the first letter is capital as we can see here using collection then it returns the response so how can we use this method it's easy here we can say here using the same uh, response method right we can say here the method name that we create macro for which is name i will change it to format name actually here and it takes a parameter of array so what if i pass the string here now refresh as you can see it must be an array so here i have prepared this example for data as you can see user's name is in a small case or lower case so i will say here data now refresh and now returns the array or collection in formatted the user's name so back here again and now i am saying convert the value of username which is this values here and change them by making the first letter capital right and here is the usage of this macro here is some quick tips about response in laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos